The Republican primary for the lieutenant governor's race features two of the most familiar political faces in Mississippi. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake spoke with a Republican strategist to get their input on how this race is being run. The premier primary race between Senator Chris McDaniel and incumbent Delbert Hoseman has not disappointed, with plenty of jabs thrown, as well as millions spent. From what we've seen spent so far, it, does that match up with previous years, uh, Lieutenant Governor's race? No, no. I mean, look, we're on a course to spend seven or eight million dollars. Everybody all in because you've got the candidates themselves. You've got PACs that support the candidates themselves. I think it's a seven and a half to eight million, probably not more than eight million dollars spent. And that's a tremendous amount of money for a Lieutenant Governor's race in, uh, in Mississippi. The McDaniel campaign has been running aggressive ads all campaign long targeting Hoseman, going as far as to paint the lieutenant governor as, quote, Delbert the Democrat. Delbert Hoseman has said, listen, I get things done, okay? I'm getting roads paved. We are raising teacher pay. We are cutting taxes. We are doing things that matter to voters. Bread and butter issues that Delbert Hoseman is focused on. While Chris McDaniel has said, listen, I'm the, I'm the conservative in this race. He's run a race. He's talked about trying to get to the right of Delbert Hoseman. It'll be very interesting to see where the voters fall uh, when it comes down to election day. Do you believe that this is... Lieutenant Governor Hoseman's race to lose. Yeah, I do. I do think this is Delbert Hoseman's race to lose. The places to watch for McDaniel, the Pine Belt. That's his. That is his. Yeah, that's his area that he's going to do well in, and he needs to run the turnout as much as he possibly can. He beat that Cochran in DeSoto County. Watch DeSoto County for Hoseman. It's Central Mississippi. It's the you know it's the Jackson DMA, the Jackson uh, market. But I think the coast is really the swing area. I think whoever wins Harrison, Hancock, and Jackson County. Is, is who's going to be uh, lieutenant governor. A bigger turnout, a larger turnout uh, is good for, is very good for Delbert Hoseman. Anything above 320,000 is good for Hoseman. Anything below 320,000 is good for McDaniel. The winner of the Republican primary will face off against Democrat D. Ryan Grover. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.